Okay, so we are going to look at the question about spearfishing. So this reads, you are trying to spearfish from a boat and you spy a fish about two meters from the boat. Should you aim high above the fish, low, sort of below or behind the fish, or directly at the fish, and why? So you spearfishers, you know exactly where to aim to get that fish. The question is why? Why do we aim where we do? So let's draw our picture. So here is, here you are standing on your boat with your spear in the water. Okay, there's the water. And we have our fish somewhere away from the boat. Okay, so first thing we want to make sure that we are thinking about is where the light is coming from. Is the light going to be coming from the air into the water or from the water into the air? Well, to make this decision about where to aim my spear, I need to be receiving that information. So light is coming to me, excuse me, to me as the fisherman. And so it's going to be coming from the fish to me. So light comes from the fish, heads in all directions and straight lines from the fish, emerging from the water. Refraction happens. How that happens is what we'll remind ourselves of. And then we have to interpret the image that's gets to our visual system. So let's say that we have a light ray coming from the fish that comes out in this direction. Okay, So light ray comes from the fish in this direction. We've got light ray going in all sorts of directions, but it comes from the fish in that direction. Now we're going from water, that medium, to air. And we know that the index of refraction of water is greater than the index of refraction of air. So the N of water is greater than the N of air. So what happens when that light ray hits this water-air boundary? Well, it bends away from the normal. So when we're going from a high to a low, we bend away from the normal. So this light ray bends away from the normal and right into our eye. Okay, so that light ray, which is carrying information about the fish, the visual image of the fish, is now hitting our eye. It hits our eye in a very specific spot. That very specific spot's a map, and our brain says, ooh, it's hitting at this very specific location. Does it know that it went through a boundary? And it's going to perceive the location of the fish as if there was no boundary, that it's in a straight line directly in front of where that light ray hit, directly in relationship to where on the retina that light ray hit. That's where the brain sees the image. But is that where the fish is? No. Fish is in a different location below the image, slightly behind where we see. So that is where you need to aim. Good job.